ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ த்ருவி அகாடமிக் சேனல் ஸோ ப்ளீஸ் லைக் ஷேர் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் சப்போர்ட் மை சேனல் மீரு கனுக நான் சேனல் ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் வாட்ச் చేస్తే ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் చేయండి ఫ్రెండ్స్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ ఏ కాదు లైక్ కూడా చేయండి లెట్స్ బిగిన్ అవర్ క్లాస్ ఈ రోజు టాపిక్ ఏంటంటే వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ బెట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద న్యూట్రిషన్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ నుంచి న్యూట్రిషన్ అనే లెసన్ నుంచి బెట్స్ అనేది డిస్కస్ చేస్తున్నాము దీస్ బెట్స్ హ్యావ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ లో నుంచి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ ఐ హావ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ these bits and ee uh, bits anedi entante manaki dsc tet ki gurukula ki annitiki use avutadi let's begin our class the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into glucose in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called it's a nutrition or photosynthesis respiration none of this which is the right answer its answer is uh, photosynthesis this is the right answer because uh, the photosynthesis is the process which plant uses in the uh, like a sunlight water carbon dioxide oxygen in the form of a energy it produce so photosynthesis is the right answer next in uh, autotrophs in autotrophic nutrition is organism prepare its uh, own food organisms uh, uses a uh, food prepared by other organisms organisms did not need food none of this which is the right answer autotrophs are nothing but it's a organism prepare their own food those are autotrophs means uh, the organism that produce like a uh, from simple inorganic materials like a uh, water carbon dioxide and minerals in the presence of sunlight it prepare its own food so those are autotrophs next one the stomata in plant leaves used for converting chemical energy to heat energy or physical support to plant leaves and gaseous exchange none, none of this which is the right answer the stomata in the plants leaves it is used for the answer is the right answer is the gaseous exchange this is the right answer because the, the exchange of gases takes place within the plant outgoing oxygen and uh, intake and in the carbon dioxide it takes intake so this is the process the stomata useful for the exchange of gaseous exchange through tiny pores this is the right answer next one the necessary things for photosynthesis are the necessary things for photosynthesis are it's a water carbon dioxide and sunlight chlorophyll water sulfur dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll water carbon dioxide hydrogen oxygen none of this which is the right answer the necessary things uh, prefer the preparation of photosynthesis and above bit uh, మనం స్టార్టింగ్లోనే చెప్పుకున్నాం సో ఇట్స్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ వాటర్ కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ సన్లైట్ అండ్ క్లోరోఫిల్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద రైట్ ఆన్సర్ ద దీస్ ఆర్ ద థింగ్స్ నెసెసరీ ఫర్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ ద ఫోటోసింథసిస్ రియాక్షన్ ఇట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద రైట్ ఆన్సర్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ కరెక్ట్ రిలేషన్ కరెక్ట్ రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోటోసింథసిస్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ అసి సిక్స్ ఫోర్ టూ ప్లస్ టువ్ హెచ్ టూ ఓ ఇన్ ద ప్రెసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ సన్లైట్ అండ్ క్లోరోఫిల్ అండ్ ఇట్ గివ్స్ అ సి సిక్స్ హెచ్ ట్వెల్ ఓ సిక్స్ ప్లస్ సిక్స్ ఓ టూ ప్లస్ సిక్స్ హెచ్ టూ ఓ అండ్ సిక్స్ సి ఓ టూ ప్లస్ ట్వెల్ హెచ్ టూ ఓ ఇన్ ప్రెసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ సన్లైట్ అండ్ క్లోరోఫైల్ ఇట్ గివ్స్ అ సి సిక్స్ హెచ్ ట్వెల్ ఓ సిక్స్ ప్లస్ సిక్స్ ఓ టూ ప్లస్ సిక్స్ హెచ్ టూ ఓ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ సి సిక్స్ ఓ టూ ప్లస్ ట్వెల్ హెచ్ టూ ఓ ఇన్ ద ప్రెసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ సన్లైట్ అండ్ క్లోరోఫైల్ ఇట్స్ గివ్ అ సిక్స్ సి సిక్స్ h2 o6 o2 or 6h2 which is the right answer the correct reaction for the photosynthesis this is the right answer it's a give us c6 c6 co2 2h2 in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it gives a uh, c6 h2 o6 6o2 and 6h2 this is a right correct reaction for the photosynthesis next one the opening and closure of stomatal pores takes place with the help of xylem cells guard cells cv tubes and none of this which is the right answer its a answer is a guard cells this uh, this is the answer is the guard cells this is the right answer because the opening and closing of stomata these are uh, controlled by the uh, controlled by guard cells they control uh, this opening and closure uh, of stomatal por- pores uh, it takes place with the help of a guard cells okay this is the right answer next one the green color of leaves of plants and are due to is it a water chlorophyll vacuoles or none of this the green color of leaves manki leaves ki green color anedi untadu kada so most of the plants we can see leaves anevi green color untayi so due to 
ड्यू टू वाटर मन की क्लोरोफिल वैक्यूल्स अच्छा आपशन सो इट ईज रईट आंसर इज क्लोरोफि ड्यू टू क्लोरोफि द लीवस आर् इन ग्रीन कलर बिकॉज ग्रीन कलर इट इज ए ग्रीन कलर इट अ प्लांट इज ड्यू टू प्रेजें ड्यू टू प्रेजें आफ क्लोरोफि पिग्मेंट विच इट इज इन अ ग्रीन कलर ड्यू टू क्लोरोफि पिग्मेंट वाल द लीव विल द लीवस इट विल बी इन ए ग्रीन कलर नेक्स्ट वन विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन ऑटोट्रॉफ्स ग्रीन प्लांट सैनो बैक्टीरिया अर्थवाम नन आफ दिश विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नाट ऑटोट्राफ का अंतर ऑटोट्राफ अंटे विच कैन प्रिपेर दर् ओन फुड का अड़ी सो इट विल बी आंसर विल बी अर्थवाम दिश द रईट आसर अर्थवाम इज नाट ऑटोट्राफ ऑटोट्राफ अंटे विच कैन प्रिपेर दर् ओन फुड बै दम से दोज आटोट्राफ्स आटोट्राफ का अड़ी इट विल बी एर्थवाम एर्थवाम्स आर् हेट्रोट्राफ्स बिकाज दीज आर्गनीजम दिपेंड्स ऑन लाइक प्लांट्स और एनिमल फर् एनर्जी पर्पस् किपेंड्स आन अदर लाइक प्लांट अंड अदर आर्गनीजम सो एर्थवाम इज अ रईट आंसर दीज आर दैट्रोट्राफ्स नैक्स्ट वन डैश Gas is released during photosynthesis. Which gas is uh, released during a photosynthesis? It's um, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and all of this, which is released. Photosynthesis, na uh, photosynthesis during photosynthesis. Which gas is released? If everyone we knows that uh, uh, oxygen is released during a photosynthesis process. This is the right answer. Next, match the following. chlorophyll it's a nitrogen and cuscuta it's a chlorophyll it's a one option is leaf and second one is rhizobium three parasites and man ki a option vache sariki it's a a to b4 c3 and b vache sariki a to b1 c4 and c vache sariki a3 b2 c1 and d vache sariki it's a a1 b2 c3 which is the correct option entandi mana match cheyali vidike which is the correct option for this answer chlorophyll ante it's a um uh, it's a chlorophyll we can be seen a plants green pigment in the present in the leaves this is the right match and nitrogen nitrogen vache sariki it is a um it's a rhizobium nitrogen rhizobium is a source of nitrogen this will be a matching and next one cascuta cascuta it is a parasite this is the right answer ante a1 a1 b2 and c3 ante d option is the right answer for this this is the correct match next what elements are essential for the process of photosynthesis a elements are essential for the photosynthesis process ki ante manam indakne starting lo chadvamo it's a chlorophyll and water or carbon dioxide and sunlight and both a and b option and d none of these which is the right answer it's a answer is we know that it is required both a and b both are required for the process of photosynthesis chlorophyll water carbon dioxide and sunlight it is required next one the cascuta is a parasite plant take food from dash plants it's a fungi or it's a host it's a algae or d all of the above which is the right answer the cascuta is a parasite plant take food from host plant it take a food from the host plant this is the right answer host is the right answer because cascuta is a, it's a parasitic plants and it lacks like a because of it lack chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis so that's the reason it obtained nutrients from other like uh, from other plants known as host plant host plant plant nunchi it required food so cascuta it's a parasitic plant that take food from the host plant this is the right answer b next one dash or obtained from leg leguminous plant is it a vegetable b pulses c fruits and d all of the above which are a leguminous plant its answer is we know the answer is the b pulses these are the leguminous plants ante um like a uh, leguminous plant ante man ki example tells kada bees its um
like beans peas so those are the example for and lentils even the examples of leguminous plants next one what type of relation bacterium and plants have is it a autotrophic and heterotrophic b host and parasite and it's a synthesis or d symbiotic which is the right answer its answer is a what type of relation bacterium and the plants have the relation between the bacteria and the plants have its answer is a uh, symbiotic d is the right answer uh, right option this is the right answer symbiotic means uh, with the bacteria produce uh, like uh, almost uh, the conversion of atmosphere nitrogen into ammonia it play like a it play a vital role in the root fixing nodules so symbiotic relation it's a d is the right answer next one where does rhizobium leaves in plant in leaves of vegetables or in leaves of flowers in roots of grams peas beans etc or in all parts of plants where does rhizobium live in plants we know that everyone its answer is they live in roots of grams peas bees and beans and etc in the kind of chapter called above bit so this is the right answer c next one the bacterium which take nitrogen from atmosphere and convert it into a usable form the bacterium called is it a bacterium b it's a rhizobium it's a lichens d none of this the bacterium which take nitrogen from atmosphere and convert into usable form the bacterium is called they are called mindakan shaltram bits it's a rhizobium this is the right answer right option rhizobium they convert atmosphere nitrogen to ammonia right next one which of the following is an example of parasites which is the example for parasites is it a cascata and orchids or b it's a fungus c algae d all of the above which is the right answer which of the following example for parasites its a answer is a a cascata is a right orchids it's a, i think it's not orchids and the parasites kaadu it is a epiphytes orchids and the epiphytes it's not a parasites it's epiphytes whereas fungus algae these are these are also not a parasite these also not a parasite and which of the following example parasite ke example ante it's a cascota this is the example for parasite a is the right option next one the organism which live together and share shelter and nutrients this type of relation between the organism is called it's a, a symbiosis it's a it's a collaboration or d alliance which is the right answer it's a symbiosis this is the right answer because the organisms which depend on like they live together and they share shelter and nutrients this type of relation between the organisms so called this is called a symbiosis this is the right answer next one which is an example of saprotrophs a fungi b bacteria c fungus d all of the above it's a example for saprotrophs and adutnar kabatti its a answer will be all the above these all are saprotrophs saprotrophs is nothing but a, it's a feed on like a dead and decaying uh, decaying uh, plants and other matters so this is answer d all the above this is the right answer next the mode of nutrition which organism take it nutrients from the dead and decaying matter is called in the kind of above bit chapter kada so dead and decaying matter it takes from means it's a lichen so symbiosis saprotrophic or nutrition or all of the above which is the right answer its answer is saprotrophic nutrition this is the right answer means uh, the organisms that take nutrients from the dead dead metal and dead nunchi and decaying matter nunchi tisukuntadi so nutrition anedi tisukuntadi so c is the right answer next one insectivorous plants are insectivorous plants a b it's a none of the above or omnivore none of the below or omnivorous and herbivorous carnivorous uh insectivorous plants ante they are a carnivorous this is the right answer insectivorous plants next one which one is or a uh, i example an example of insectivorous plant it's a venus flytrap it's a pitcher plant and cobra lily and all of the above 
which is the right answer it's a answer is a all of the above this is the right answer is it is an example for the insectivorous plants can the plant which ka like a consume they consume the insects for the energy requirement for the energy requirement purpose kosam abhi um insects ni this uh, consume cheskuntadi so to fulfill like a, they have a deficiency of nitrogen so fulf to fulfill a nitrogen they trap the insects and utilize to get a proteins from this from insects so these are carnivores sorry these are all of the above these plants venus flytrap and pitcher plants and cobra lily these are the insectivorous plant this is the right option next one the plant on which it climb is called is it a client or is parasite or sea host or none of the above the plant on which it climb is called entante what name antarante host these are ka host next one which is a type of saprotrophic plants it's a mushroom small see both a and above uh, none of the above it's a saprotrophic plants are nothing but these are a answer both a and b mushrooms and molds these are the saprotrophic saprot saprotrophic is nothing but they de uh, they feed on like a decomposing and organic matters that has been left by other dead and uh, dead organisms and plants so they def, uh, they feed on other dead and uh, organisms mushrooms and molds b uh, c is the right answer for this sun dew plant is a type of is it a azeotrophic plant and heterotrophic plant both a and b and d none of the above it's a sun dew it's a heterotrophic plant sun dew is the heter heterotrophic plant b is the right option next one which one is a heterotrophic plant is it a cascuta pitcher plant it's a aldrovanda and all of the above which is they are saying which one is a heterotrophic plant heterotrophic plant ante these all ab all of the above these all are heterotrophic plant and uh, which one is an example for heterotrophic mode of nutrition is it a bacteria fungi yeast or all of the above Uh, which one is example for heterotrophic means its answer is a uh, this also all of the above this d is the right answer because the organisms they are unable to prepare their food they are asking about heterotrophic right autotroph ante they can prepare their own food materials by themselves but whereas heterotrophs these all like uh, the organisms they are unable to prepare food and uh, they depend on other organisms for their food so those are called heterotrophs all the above this is the right answer next one the plant which do not have chlorophyll and cannot synthesize food but such plants depend on food produced by other plants such plants dash of mode of nutrition which is the right answer it's a saprotrophic asprotrophic and heterotrophic all of the above just we discussed now only it's a heterotrophic this is the right answer which do not have chlorophyll and cannot synthesize food by themselves so depend on other plants such plants are called it's a, a heterotrophic mode of nutrition this is the right answer next one the atmospheric gas which is not directly taken by the plant from the atmosphere but by bacterium present in the soil a oxygen b nitrogen c carbon dioxide d all of the above the atmosphere gas which is uh, gas which is not directly taken by um, taken by plant from the atmosphere but bacteria present in the soil that is answer is nitrogen b is the right answer this is the right answer b is the correct option next one dash or the nitrogenous substance which contain nitrogen it's a protein fats minerals none of the above these are um, proteins proteins are the nitrogenous substance which contain the nitrogen means all proteins they contain a nitrogen a is the right answer for this so thanks for watching my video please like share subscribe my channel thank you bye